Hello and welcome back. Uh, here we are going to go through on the Proxmox server. Uh, we're going to select data center. We're going to select storage. And then within storage, we can see our two uh, local and local LVM. Uh, what we're going to do is actually add an NFS. Um, so I do have an NFS server and I can go over setting that up a little bit later, but just wanted to show you how you can add some more storage. So we have an NFS server. We're going to select that and then we're going to give it an ID. We're just going to keep it simple PVE. YT NFS and I'm going to put in the server IP address and then from the drop drop down we can see what are exported so we want to select the PVT NFS and then we want to allow what content so definitely want to allow disk image uh, ISOs as well and then we also want to allow uh, backup files uh, click add and now we can see that we have that available here where it's mounted. And then if you go over here, you can actually see how much storage is available on that specific uh, NFS mount. And we can see we've got 5.27 terabytes of 8.73 and how much is actually being used. And that can be used for other things as well. But right now we've got this here so we can actually go here and we can see what vm disk we have iso images which is nothing and nothing but what makes that nice is now we can actually move on this rocky system we can go in to the hardware and actually move this hard disk that's on the local say move storage and then we can say move to the nfs now We'll keep the same uh, format for that. And then if we want, we can say delete source. So it deletes it from the local and moves it to there. So we're going to say that and then we're going to say move disk. And it's going through right now and actually moving it from the uh, little HP desktop that we have with the local storage and moving that to the NFS storage. Uh, one reason you might want to do that, A, like I said, is uh, size, storage size might be an issue on the box itself because this is actually a real small box. Uh, with the NFS storage, that gives you a lot more space uh, to put those systems. And then if you do have issues down the road and say your Proxmox server completely gets wiped out, you should still have that storage there and you can actually import those images from the NFS uh, storage spot. So you really don't really lose it that way. And then if your NFS uh, storage as well has RAID 5 or some other type of uh, system that makes it available on multiple different devices so that it can take a hit as well. Um, we're just trying to make this as bulletproof as possible. Um, this is one way that you can do it is by putting it on a shared storage location and then making sure that shared storage location has uh, multiple copies of it as well so that if there are issues, uh, you can still survive if there is an outage. Hopefully we'll never have one, but uh, that's basically what we want to do. And like I said, this is for a home-based uh, server or lab, um, but it's just something that you can do to allow more space available to the local system instead of adding more drives to the uh, local system. That'll take a little bit of time, but I'll fast forward through it once we finish that. Okay, as you can see, it has been completed, and now the VM disk has been successfully removed from the local. And now it is on the NFS. We can tell by this here. And then if we actually go to our local uh, and look at the different things that are available, there is nothing there. There's no VM disk there. And now everything, at least when it comes to the system itself, for VM disk and stuff like that, is on the NFS. Our ISO images are still local. Right here, local. That has not been moved over, um, but you could have ISO images there as well. And like I said, our VM disk there is now there, and it was moved while the system was active the whole time. Uh, so that's just one way that you can actually use NFS for storage to expand the sizes of your system. And that is all we're going to be going over today. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this for using NFS with Proxmox.